Okay, so you can see that the uh, iPad app, it's only available for iPad, by the way, and it's uh, $5.99, which is a very good price, that's in Great British Pounds. And it's brilliant, you'll see in a second how easy it is to use and how similar it is on iOS. Okay, so we're now in the iDraw app for iPad, and as you see when you come on, you've got all of your documents. The ones that are already there are example documents that you get pre-installed with the app, apart from the one at the top which will open is the floor plan which I had just before on my Mac if you can it's all synced over iCloud and it's ideal if you're a graphic designer to be able to just take this on the go with you and not have to be at your computer mind and doing all your work and it's just very quick to sync it with iCloud so as you can see here it's just all the same things as before and what I like about this on the, on the iPad because obviously it needs to be very accurate if I wanted to move something so this font here. As you can see in the top right hand corner, there's a little circle and it zooms in uh, on the actual area that you're moving so you can position it really carefully on the grid. You obviously have your uh, handles around here to be able to increase the size of what it is that you're drawing and then the little orange ones that you rotate like so. So it looks very very similar to what I had on the Mac before. It has all your tools down the side in either in one row or if you turn it on the landscape you can have it in two rows which is even more similar but let's keep it in portrait for now um, and basically it's just all the same tools and it just works brilliantly with this you've got all of your sort of tools for drawing in here and it's just as easy to just draw things if I just wanted to draw something with this one you just click your points and you can drag and you have the little um, magnifying glass in the corner so you can see what you're doing quite well if I now wanted to share this image, it's ever so slightly different to what you have to do on the Mac because you have to head over to your documents again, save that, and then you have to go over to edit, click on the document and then click on the little share icon and you can print design uh, via the iPad directly, you can share on Facebook and Twitter and you can also export it via all those options as well. Now with this you can't directly save it as an SVG graphic. It would expect that you would have iDraw on your Mac to be able to just export it. Well, you wouldn't need to export it. It would be synced over iCloud and you could do it that way. However, um, if you've got an iPad and you don't necessarily think you're going to need to get the full Mac version, I think for $5.99 it's a very good purchase to just use the iPad version because it's still got all the same features, it's just um, basically hasn't got some more of the uh, more advanced export options. However, for most people it would be just as good to use it on your iPad, although for that extra control, for example, if you need to do this for something professional work, you'd probably need the Mac version. Um, but it just works all the same. As you can see, the tools are all down the side, and I'll just show you some of these menus. You've got your settings up here to choose your grid, um, your dimensions and things like that and then you've got some preferences about where you want the toolbar to be and that kind of thing and then just in here you've got copy cut paste delete etc then you can access your layers here turn the visibility on and off you can do things like that let's go back to my documents and um, there's just some when you first get this there's some great instructional I'll show you one of these and it just gives you all the instructions on how to use it so it's definitely worth checking some of those out Okay, well that was my review of iDraw for Mac and for iOS. It's definitely well worth the purchase, and if you're going to get the Mac version, definitely go for the iOS version as well, because they just go together so perfectly, it would be a silly not to buy them both, because it's just easy to take it on the go. Thanks for watching this video, don't forget to comment, thumbs up and subscribe. Now I'll probably not be making another video before Christmas, so I'd also like to say have a very good Christmas and New Year, and bye for now.